And welcome to the Unplugged Mic, where we have a lot of news. Uncensored, unscripted, unbelievable news. So, today, our news, and yes, I have some notes here. So, Tyreek Hill, the wide receiver of the form, former wide receiver of the Kansas City Chiefs, has now been traded to the Miami Dolphins. Now, word says that that's because of a ne negotiation contract issue um, that now is resolved into a trade, um, which didn't take very long at all. The trade actually happened maybe a couple of hours after he uh, requested a trade, which I don't understand, honestly. I don't understand the issue. I think he had it perfect here in Kansas City. I think, you know, the Mahomes and Kelsey, Mahomes, Kelsey, and Tyreek Hill connection was amazing here. Um, which, if we're being honest here, I th think he was really getting money he deserved. Uh, he wasn't really a, he was kind of our Devontae Adams, but he didn't play like Devontae Adams did. Um, Though he, you know, he did some amazing things this year and other years as well. It didn't really, you know, it wasn't really like a DeAndre Hopkins type of deal, you know. Um, but apparently what the Chiefs got out of the deal is Dolphins sent over multiple draft picks, which I believe were five. One of those being a 2022 first round pick. Now that pick is also the tw not 29th pick which is a pick below or above the Chiefs original pick. So the Chiefs go back to back in the in the low of the first round pick or first round of the draft. <clears throat> now this could mean two things for Kansas City. This can either be trade bait tr to trade down or even trade for a player or this can also just be a really good strategy because there are a lot of good players in the draft and uh, defensively and that's the main thing that the Chiefs need right now is defense. Honestly I feel there's a lot of players that can drop to the second round that the Chiefs can pick up and turn into stars. <clears throat> Maybe not with Spags as, as coordinator because I'm not really a big Spags guy but honestly if we can just get some really good players from that those two picks and then from our other Second round picks, I think we have two of them now. That would be a perfect bit. Uh, I know Bolton has been doing well. Sneed's been doing well. Um, Willie Gay Jr. has been doing well. And all three of those guys were second to third round picks. Um, but apparently, <clears throat> the deal was like, I think, a hundred and uh, I believe 130 or 150 around that range for, I think, four or five years. I'm not exactly sure. Didn't really get much of information on there, but it's going to be a long contract for the Dolphins. The Miami Dolphins do have does have a good uh, threat now offensively. As long or as with him is Jalen Waddle, Devontae Parker, <clears throat> uh, Mike Jasicki, uh, which Mike Jasicki is the guy that they franchise tagged before off season. Kind of weird to franchise tag a tight end. But honestly, you gotta do what you gotta do in the situations that they're in. Um, other with that, they have a actually decent uh, running back position here. They have uh, Chase Edmonds, Raheem Mostert, and they have Miles Gaskin. Those three guys can actually make an impact uh, when it comes to sharing runs. I know that all three of them haven't really shown that much. When it comes to um, being a starter, they've shown good potential, but they're not like, you know, number one top tier kind of guys. Um, <clears throat> which, um, it can go either way, honestly. But I think it'll be a good season for their running backs. <clears throat> With that, they also have not a bad off in the line. Um, now I want to show you their defense as well. I made a few, yeah, I made a list of defense uh, defensive players I think will make uh, are are good to notice here. Uh, the Miami Dolphins defense has Emmanuel Ogba, which was which he was pretty good with Kansas City a couple years ago during their uh, Super Bowl Fifty Four uh, win. He was actually a pretty good asset to that team. 
<clears throat> Christian Wilkins as well. I think he's going to be pretty good. Jerome Baker, I kind of am upset that we couldn't get Jerome Baker in that trade. That's all right. We'll figure it out. Uh, Javon Holland, Byron Jones, he also would have been a pretty good asset to Kansas City. And Jalen Phillips, I think those players are pretty good to mention for the Miami Dolphins defense. So they don't have a very solid defense, but they have enough to where they can at least hold the line down and maybe help the offense <clears throat> a little bit. I, <clears throat> I honestly see it maybe as the Chiefs 2021 type of defense. They're not going to be explosive, but hey, they'll get the job at least done. They'll at least you know, get, to, get the Dolphins where they need them. <clears throat> so, another thing here, I kind of sidetracked with my with my uh, um, with my list here. So I want to talk about their last draft picks as well. The Miami Dolphins and the Kansas City Chiefs, their last first round draft picks. Kansas City Chiefs, last time they drafted in the first round was Clyde Edwards Hilaire. Their last their last before him was Patrick Mahomes in 2017. The rest of those picks were either traded. Yes, well, they were, they were traded. <laughs> um, I know the 2018 <clears throat> draft pick was during uh, was a part of the Buffalo Bills trade for Mahomes. The 2019 trade was for um, uh, uh, Clark, Frank Clark, with the Seattle Seahawks. And... Last year, 2021, we, tr we traded that pick away to the Baltimore Ravens for um, and, um, Orlando Brown Jr. So not bad pickups. Frank Clark was definitely an asset that year for us. Um, Mahomes, obviously amazing. One of our best draft picks of all time besides Derek Thomas, of course. I think Derek Thomas has to be uh, ruled number one there. Which Derek Thomas is the most underrated linebacker of all time, but we'll get to that later on. Uh, but you can see with like Clyde edwards Lair, not a bad pick. He hasn't really, ever since getting injured against uh, the New Orleans Saints, has not really shown that much since. He's shown he was shown very good last year, but he was on and off, and that's kind of something that you need to avoid as a first round pick. Especially when Mahomes drafts you, you know you're special. You got to keep that reputation going. Um, <clears throat> now, now I want to show what does this mean for the Kansas City uh, Chiefs receiving crew? Uh, what's what's up with our wide receivers now? We have Juju Smith-Schuster holding the line now, which no one really thought that would happen. Um, we all thought that Tyreek and Juju would share yards, but with Tyreek being obviously the best fit. You now have Hardman. Um, you have you have Hardman now uh, as a second receiver, which was kind of the case last year. We lost uh, Robinson. He went to L uh, Las Vegas, and then we also lost Byron Pringle, which Byron Pringle signed with Chicago. But now we have Marquez Galdez uh, Scant Scantling. I'm sorry if I got that name wrong, but I think he will be actually a really good player if we can sign him. I believe we can, uh, I think, with the cap that we now, uh, the cap that we have now cleared with trading uh, Hill, we can actually sign some guys, which would have been helpful at the beginning of the offseason. Uh, even if we sign, because my thing is I want to sign Justin Houston back. I think Justin Houston would be a perfect fit. I think Justin Houston is the veteran player that we are missing. Uh, he was pretty good with the Baltimore Ravens last year. He wasn't great, but he did have a big impact in beating the Chiefs last year. Last year, uh, 2020 had a pretty decent season with Indianapolis along with 2019. So he's not the greatest anymore. He's not what he was back in 2014, but he is still an asset to the team. He can actually make something better, better than Neiman. Sorry, Neiman, but you're not that great. I would rather have Justin Houston playing the way he is. He's basically the off, off. Um, he's the 
off-brand version of Derek Thomas. He is what Von Miller is, basically. Except Von Miller is better, I will admit that. So, I think <clears throat> we sign Justin Houston, and we re-sign Melvin Ingram. That, is, that has to happen. And I think we should sign Valdez Scantling. And that, would be, that would be amazing. Amazing pick. Because honestly, a lot of people have kind of given him a little bit of trouble when he was with Green Bay. And uh, the thing is, Rodgers didn't throw it to him as much as he should have. Now, he might have had a few questionable plays, but who doesn't? Hill even had a few questionable plays. Even in the bowl, last year's bowl against uh, Buccaneers, he had questionable plays. Everyone had questionable plays questionable plays that year, um, or that game, really. But no one's perfect, and I think Scanling can even be a good third option for us. He would be... He, he was the best option. If, if Adams wasn't open, Rodgers was right there for him. He was right there for Rodgers. And yes, I meant to... I meant to say them both. So... I think we should pick him up. I think he would be a, an amazing asset to the team. Maybe even a better player than Hardman. Uh, he's speedy. He's got what it takes to be a Kansas City Chief. I would draft, or I would sign him. Now I have one here. What does this mean for Tua Tagovailoa? Well, this is the year where there are no more excuses. He's had down. He had a, he had some down seasons on his first year and his his. Than last year, yes, I sit down for his first year because he did not have a great rookie uh, campaign. Then, th then last year he didn't exactly follow up with it. Now, not completely his fault, but still, it's not very good. Especially when you're what, what was he the third overall pick, or I think actually he was later, but he was a pretty early round uh, first round pick. Expected to be coming back from his injury issue in, in college. It was supposed to be the next big thing. He's not turning that. He's not turning out to be. This is his last year to actually prove to everybody that he is what he thought he was. Not what everyone else thought, but what he knows he is. You have a decent, not great. It's not a great offensive of line. There's a few holes that could be filled. Which I think in the draft, the Miami Dolphins could handle that. Now, not in the first round, obviously, but they do have other picks they can use for some pretty decent um, uh, off of the lineman talent. But Tua Tagovailoa also has to use the legs. It's the same thing with Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson lost a few uh, pieces to the puzzle and off of the line due to a couple of retirements and Orlando Brown Jr. leaving. He's having to lose. He's having to use his legs more. And to attack of Aloha, you have to use your legs. You are a mobile quarterback. You have to use your legs more. Now, there's also no more, um, no more excuses when it comes to the talent. You have Jalen Waddle and Tyreek Hill right there. You have Mike Jacecki, who is one of the best tight ends in my opinion, probably top three. Um, and you have those running backs I said earlier. There is no more excuses. No more. You either play really well, or you're done. And I guess it is, you know, bad for me to say, you know, for a guy who is a first-round pick, but it's honestly, it's the tragic truth. It really is. It's the tragic truth of being a f of NFL football player. With weapons like that, and you still can't do it, it's kind of hard. Now, I know they are in a hard division. New England is getting back to what they used to be, and the Buffalo Bills are insanely good. But you can't act like the Jets. There's no more excuses when it comes to that. You can't act like the Jets, and you can't, but you also aren't the New England Patriots. So they'll at least probably be third, but they shouldn't be that bad. Maybe even second if the Patriots move down. You never know. Um, now another thing to note about Tyreek Hill is he is the fastest player in the NFL. With Jalen Waddle being as fast as he is, 
This can be so insane. So many corners are going to get their ankles broken. So many touchdowns are going to be scored from a deep pass. That is, if Tua Tagovailoa can throw a deep pass with his left arm, who knows? Maybe he acts like the off-brand off uh, Steve Young. He's apparently being one to be Steve Young with the legs and the left arm, left arms, and one to be a Michael Vick, and so show it. Show that you are Michael Vick. Show that you are Steve Young. He reminds me of Steve Young a lot, but he has to get better in order to be like Steve Young, not just the type of player, but you are Steve Young. With the speed that you have now, and with the speed that Tyreek Hill, Tyreek Hill's going to run so many routes that are going to be huge, like huge games, huge everything. Jalen Waddle, he's going to be amazing when it comes to trying to fake it out, fake out the uh, the defender. You got to use your weapons. Uh, and I found ironic as well. This will be my last uh, my last thing to say. It's ironic that this scenario comes back to Super Bowl four, uh, 54 for me. And I'll tell you why. So the Dolphins, they had the 49ers pick. The 29th overall pick. The Dolphins had the, the that pick. They uh, they also um, they also have Raheem Mostert, who was a 49er. Now the Chiefs in the Super Bowl 54 at Ma um, won that at Miami in uh, the Rock Hard Stadium. Um, who and the Dolphins also helped out the Chiefs to go into the divisional playoff round, which I actually remember that game very well. It was a Hardman uh, kick return touchdown that was beautiful. Um, and Tyreek Hill, ironically, is on that team as well, that Chiefs team, and so is Emmanuel Ogbog. And so, the, but the 49ers, they were kind of involved with that because of the pick that they had. So this all revolves around, and I think a lot of sports players are actually missing, excuse me, missing this point. Um, that it kind of look, does look like a, four, a Super Bowl 54 situation here, which is pretty ironic, if you ask me. But that is all for me today. We are unscripted, uncensored, and unbelievable news. Thank you all for watching. This is the not plugged in mic, and I will actually show, for example. I turn my phone off, and I'm going to get copyright claims. Thank you all for watching. You guys have a great night. If I can get. I can't. I, I, can't. I need help! There. Goodbye.